everyone in this video we will see how to use the add condition in the topic so basically a condition will help you to make the decision making and making the branching of, of the flow based on the conditions here so we will see how to use it in the last video we have seen the another topic which was the ask with adaptive card where we have created the one simple adaptive card where we ask the some input from the user once it is submitted then we'll create the contact in the dataverse here we will use the another option which is nothing but add a condition so to show you a demo with that what i am going to do is when I'm going to create the contact in my Dataverse table, you can see here, this is the contact form in my Dataverse here. So the email and the last name is mandatory. So we cannot submit a form without, if I'll create the new and try to save it, you can see the last name and email is mandatory. So basically when I'm going to create the new contact from my copilot, I need to must provide the value of the last name and email. So to do that, I'll make the condition use here. So let's add that. So here I'm going to add the just before I'm making the action call here in the bottom, I'm going to make the new condition, add a condition. And here when you add the condition, it will ask you to select the variable. So we are having different types of variable, the system variables and the custom variables and the environment variables. The custom variables are those variables which we will create and it could be the topic specific or the global. When we use the system variable, it is basically system predefined variables. The, it, will, it will define the context of the uh, copilot system uh, when the different thing is happening. So if suppose activity is happening, the channel name, then channel data, the message details, those things we can get from the system variables. The environment variables are those something we defined as a power platform. We are having the environment variables. Those variables we can create and add, show here. So now here I'm going to use this variable, my custom variable, which is nothing but in the last name. So when the we have designed this adaptive card, we have seen that in the, the last name value is stored into the variable called the last name. So when this variable is value is entered and submitted this form i want to check whether this is empty or it contains some particular value so like that if you want to make conditions so we are having these many conditions available the conditions are like is equals to is not equals to is blank is not blank in and in case sensitive so if you want to compare exactly the same value you can use the is equals to if does not equals to you can compare with that is blank basically when it's like something is empty or does not contain any value or null that kind of check we can add if it is not null that kind of also check is not we can add here it is negative of null then not in case it's like similar like when we do the uh when we compare this value with the multiple value so we can use the in and case sensitive basically uh, the we can compare the exactly what we are having in the variable with the same case sensitive exactly with the same case so like that so here i'm going to use is blank so basically what i'm going to check is if the last name is blank then i what i want to do so here that node we need to add and uh, since i have the another field also which is nothing but email I will add the condition of the email also. So here we can add the multiple condition. So here you, we can define like add condition and email will be stored into this variable email and then is blank. So and here you can see the operator of uh, make, making the condition of these two of field. We are having and operator and the or operator. So we can here make the and condition of these two value or the or condition so currently i'm going to make like if the my last name is empty or email is empty then i want what i want to do so basically in that case i will ask a user to submit the form again so here we can make the send message like please enter last name or email and submit the form again 
okay and here this this message will display to the user like if they have missed entering the value in the last name or email then we are asking that them to fill the value and then here then we'll ask them to go again here so that is called the branching so here if you see below then we are using the another control which is uh, topic management under the topic management we are having go to step so we can select this one go to step we have to uh, go to the particular step which you want and just click on that so now you will see automatically uh, go to step a control is selected here and it is going to the adaptive card if the values are interfined into these two fields then other conditions will be executed other is like else part so else part we can have this uh, all the all the uh, which is failed case from this condition it will pass here and in that case it will call the power automate flow to create the contact so let's test it if it is working so i'm going to save it okay and refresh this is the uh, test area of the copilot and now i'm going to ask uh, i want to add add a contact in dataverse so when you ask this question automatically this form has came the adaptive card i'm just entering some value here and the last name i'm keeping empty and email value i'm going to give something okay and some mobile number here okay and submit so now you can see it has executed and it has failed this one but since the uh, the the last name was empty so it has executed that one and it's telling please enter the last name or email and submit the form again so like that you can make the condition you can make the nested condition also so example uh, what i'm going to do i'll remove this condition from here this and add the under the other condition i'm going to make the another condition that if the my email is also empty now you can see the same multiple condition you can combine into the one uh, control here but you can if you want to branch your condition so that it can be nested condition then you can make the nested condition like this so you can have the email and then if it is blank then we can show the message that email please enter please enter the email email and submit the form again okay and here once it is asked then we will uh, go to the another uh, another step which is nothing on the topic management go to a step and then we will select this form again to save it by user so we'll we'll go to the again same step so here i'll just change the message a little bit since this is only asking about the last name so i'll just rename this please enter the last name and submit the form again okay so save it and let's try it okay so i want to add a contact in dataverse it has asked and i'm going to save name without kohli and then email i'm keeping as blank and then mobile number i'm providing so when i submit you can see now it has executed this part and it's saying please enter the email and submit the form so again it uh, it has asked me to fill the details and submit it so if i'll say virat and la first time i'm keeping blank and something virat at india.com something and some number and save now it is kind of asking that now it went to the another control which is nothing but last name it was empty and it is asking fill the last name and then submit so if i'll give the right value and some number here and submit so it will take some time so now you can see the flow has went to, to the other condition which was it has uh, not gone through the condition one and now it is executing the flow and it will be creating the contact it will give the response back here so the contact has been created with this id if you go to my contact here the new contact has been created so like this you can design the different conditions here in the nested conditions in the flow 
and uh, like this you, you can branch your conditions so i hope uh, this video was useful and understandable how to use the conditions in the uh, your copilot design and thank you for watching this video guys